he's a stud, man. No cat. And you're playing Sacramento, right? And Sacramento's trying to clinch that seed for the playoffs. They're pretty much secured in at three right now. I think Sacramento's probably taking it a little bit easy. Their foot's still on the gas, but instead of going like 90, they're probably going like 80 to 85. So that's a highway like, reference, not energy. And yeah, not like on, out of 100, but. Well, you phrase it right. Cause like people, you know, the last two, the last game of the NFL season for the teams that have mm. already clinched or basically Fuck are in the playoff shit. or yeah. don't care about their seating. They play, they kind of rest their players. Like, you know, some of the teams don't even play their players while the other ones only play them a little bit. And I think this is where we're getting to that part of the NBA season where the top teams that don't have to worry about their seeding in the playoffs, you, like you said, they're taking the pedal off the gas for these last couple games. Cause they're like, hey, it doesn't matter if we win or lose these last five or games, we're already a top six seed or our seeding is already determined. So, what let's not yeah. risk injury yeah so that yeah that's what i was saying like mine's a highway reference not saying they're going 80 like if it's out of 100 they're probably going 90 now i <laughs> good i don't you're, what you're saying like if i'm darren fox like you know i don't need to have my foot on the gas every time i have the ball now um they're still trying hard because you still you don't want bad habits to form you still oh, want yeah. to go into the postseason on a high note but it's not do or die as it and it's not even do or die for Minnesota, but it kind of is because you never know with the Western Conference. If you're trying to climb up the seeds, so I believe isn't Minnesota the sixth seed now? Like these games are way bigger to Minnesota than they are for Sacramento right now. But you see it, it's weird because it's like when a coach gets fired, you know, Cat is arguably one of their best players. I feel like guys step up when one of their best players is out because they're like yeah, or, you know, maybe we're not expected to, you know, this is a good opportunity. Uh, Timberwolves are currently the sixth seed because they are, they are tied with the same record as the Warriors, but because the tiebreaker would be their, I believe their conference record. Timberwolves have a better conference record. Is it really? It's not head to head. I'm pretty, is it not head to head? I thought it's conference record. They do the break it. If the, I think they might have tied the head to head series unless they played three games. But I don't know. They just, Warriors just blew it against them. Either way, because or, they no. have the same yeah. record and the Timberwolves are in front of them, that means whatever tiebreaker there is, the Timberwolves are winning that tiebreaker. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. That's a big ass deal. Yeah. For, for Minnesota. Yeah. Like that's huge. That's like quite impressive. Especially um, gives them, you know, what is it a week they get or five days for the plan? Like, yeah, what you get a couple more days, yeah, you're of right. rest, of yeah, rest because you gotta wait because you gotta wait for the playing games to play yeah. and then you, you, can you start just get a break in general, yeah, yeah, because they they do another like give you like a once the play in ends, I think there's a day break before the playoffs starts, so yeah, yeah. You, you get, get you get people don't realize it's not just you know being a avoiding the play in, you're getting a basically a week of rest. you get a bye week basically yeah that's what it's like the sacramento argument against this game where it's like you know they had a five game i don't I, I gotta we get a break yeah so great win Sac for minnesota Jalen mcdaniels nazari in the wake um i think they're starting to click more with gobert they're clicking at the right time you got teams like minnesota the pelicans that are clicking at the right time and they're you know gonna make it interesting